Greetings once again, Banff Nation. It is I, as always, the irrepressible Revitessant 84. And today, I think I'll just wear this oversized, ostentatious hat when I'm doing this video. I think it makes quite a statement, don't you? Hmm? Yeah, this is a Halloween hat, I'm not gonna lie. But I've been told by all my friends for some reason it fits me. And I'm not sure exactly what they mean by that, so no, I don't fucking think so. I'll nope the hell out of that for today, because this is a kind of serious video. Today I'm going to talk about Black Friday, why I freaking hate it and I wish it would go away, including, well now you can't call it Black Friday. It's on Thanksgiving Day now, so it's Black Thursday and Friday, apparently. I mean, what's next? Is it just going to take up an entire week? It's ridiculous. So, well, and there's so many reasons I hate this holiday. One, if any of y'all get, like, the Sunday papers or anything, or if, if people still read, do people still read the newspaper? If they do, that's my big, that's one of my biggest problems, is I'm very environmentally conscious. I recycle everything that I possibly can. I save water when I can. If I'm not using appliances or lights, I turn them off. Uh, I always just keep my lamp on here, but I usually have my overhead light off for that reason. Cuts down on the bill, too, which is kind of nice when y'all sharing the bill. But, uh, anyway, have y'all seen the circulars for Black Friday? Stacks of paper this fucking thick! For just ads! Ads to all the different places to shop at! Can you imagine how many people get that many ads across the states here, across the entire country? It's ridiculous! That's such a waste of paper! How many trees have to cut down to make that many ads? Can't people just read that online? We have the internet now! Quit being lazy people! Go and type in Black Friday deals on Google! I like said, this may be irrelevant if they don't get papers anymore, but I know for a fact that we used a couple years ago, and I definitely remember seeing all the flyers and circulars for it, and it disgusted me. But the main reason is, is going back to what I was saying, it's not Black Friday anymore. It used to be it was confined to that one day to go shopping and get these weird, kind of questionable, dubious deals. But now, they every year, they open earlier and earlier. I remember whenever I was a teenager, whenever Black Friday started. I want to say I was. I want to say it started whenever I was in my late teens, less than ten years ago, by my memory. But then again, I have the memory of a watch battery, so who the fuck knows? But I remember when it started, the stores would open at like seven or eight a.m. Hmm, that's pretty normal. You still had to get up after Thanksgiving early in the morning to get out, which is kind of the task at hand. But and then, over the years, it went from that to 6 a.m., to 5 a.m., to 4 a.m., to open at midnight, and now some stores are open on Thanksgiving Day. So let me tell you this. Okay, Target opened at 8 p.m. Thanksgiving Day. Best Buy opened at 6 p.m. on Thanksgiving Day. But just to show America's insatiable greed and lust over commercialism, Toys R Us opened at 5 fucking p.m. I mean, I know that people here in America are fucking selfish and don't think of one another, but do they have any concern over the employees that have to be forced to work during those hours? Usually seasonal hired help that gets trained for one day and then thrown out there like, oh, by the way, this is your first day on the job, good luck. They get to work Black Friday or Thanksgiving Day. Yeah, and... I mean, these people might want to be with their families. They want, they might want to have a Thanksgiving. Now they're not going to get to because they have to check out all this crazed, like, animalistic masses of people that are all fighting over the same fucking Furby at Toys R Us. I think it's funny whenever every year they go to Toys R Us and have, like, this mob, this vicious, violent, just snarling pit of like, vipers over whatever toy is hot that year. Like, I remember the Tickle Me Emo craze. I remember Tamagotchis. There, there's been a few. And I think it's fun. Oh, yeah, Beanie Babies. And it's funny because then the next year, those things aren't even cool anymore. And it's like you spent, you, you put so much hatred into your fellow people at the store that day for that one toy for your kid. And kids have a freaking attention span of a moth. They probably played with it for all of two minutes, threw it aside, and said, okay, what, what's next? Because that's how, that's how kids' attention spans are. We're a nation of people with instant gratification complexes and short attention spans. So, it's so unfair to these poor employees that have to take off of time of their family. And that to go, I mean, what if they have family coming in from out of town that they only get to see once a year? And nine out of ten times, the, uh, the places that manage these, the people that manage these places are forced to make their employees work that day. Because somebody has to. I mean... 
they're mostly corporate owned stores. So the independent stores themselves don't get to dictate what time they open. Corporate tells them what time to open. And then the poor managers are stuck there. And the poor manager has to force the employees to work there that day whenever they open during Thanksgiving. It's awful. And people make it that way. Every time you all go out and shop on Black Friday, you make it that way because they then they open up every earlier and earlier, try to squeeze a few more bucks out of y'all till you're dry. I mean, this year alone for Black Friday, twelve mil billion, twelve billion dollars in the U.S. spent on Black Friday. Twelve billion dollars on flat screen TVs and toys and video games. And clothes. People are so materialistic. It's really repulsive and sickening. It is. Imagine what you could do with that much money. Just think, imagine what this country could do with 12 and some odd billion dollars. So yes, a lot of these poor families that have to work at these stores because of anyone who buys on Black Friday, they might get to miss relatives they only see once a year, or even fewer and far between. They miss out on that. They miss out on having a nice home-cooked meal. They have to go reheat it later when they finally get off their shift later that night. But do as anyone who shop gives a damn? No. Of course not. They just out for the deals, the deals, the 10% off on this. Big fucking deal. Big whoop. 5 p.m. That's ridiculous. Um, and then another one of my concerns with another reason I hate Black Friday so much. Like I said, not only because it turns a family tradition into a commercialized holiday like every other holiday. Now, Thanksgiving used to be one of the few holidays that wasn't commercialized. One of the very few. It used to just be about togetherness and shoving your face full of stuffing until you look like a pile of mashed potatoes. But it, it used to be like that. It used to be just stuff your face till you barf it up and go eat some more. Anyway. Yeah, it used to mean you were bedridden for two days because you had the itis. But besides all that, besides the fact that it's now a commercialized holiday because of Black Friday, it's just what it turns people into. Have you seen the fucking videos every Black Friday of people at Walmart? There's somebody on the internet, somebody here on YouTube, I don't remember who it is because I've watched a lot of videos, so if any of you guys know, please tip me off and I'll, I'll credit it, but some um, ranter on YouTube was talking about how he's a security officer at Walmart, and this year when he went out to go, because he was uh, scheduled to work for Black Friday, obviously, that's when they're going to need security officers, and when he got there, there was actual, like, popo there, police, that told him to go back home because there was somebody firing shots in the electronics department at Walmart. That's ridiculous. I mean, how intense does a shopping group have to be for you to bring a gun? I mean, I've read all sorts of little tips for uh, preparedness for Black Friday shoppers. It's like, be hydrated, make sure you have a full stomach, bring aspirin if you need to if you get sore from walking around, to leave your kids at home, take your hubby so that he can muscle through people. Stuff like that, it's ridiculous. I mean, it's like... It's like if you were, if, if everyone on Earth was going to be snowed in for an indeterminate amount of time and people were scavenging over the last groceries. It's like that. Really, is all that necessary that you can't share with anybody else? It reminds me of the time that Ocellieri here on YouTube got trolled, except for somebody took it way too far and put a Craigslist ad with his address in it saying that he was giving away all of his kids' video games because his kid died. Which is, which is totally a bad call to even say that. He doesn't have a kid, but just if y'all didn't know who he is, he doesn't have a kid. But somebody made up that story. There were people coming to his house with trucks, pickup trucks and vans and shit like that, intent on picking up all the video games for themselves. They wouldn't even dream of sharing them with anybody else because people are so selfish. It's ridiculous. Everyone is, this is the me, me, me generation, and everyone's just out for themselves. They don't want to help anybody else. And my brother, who makes minimum wage where he works, uh, went to the um, store next door, next door he works, so the general store, bought a bunch of toys with his own money and donated them to Salvation Army. And he hardly has anything to himself at all. And he, even he can find time to donate stuff or do something good for Thanksgiving to balance out all these selfish, greedy assholes who are only worried about getting the last plasma screen TV that's 5% off on Black Friday only. Oh, it's just, it just, it just burns my biscuits, BH. Anyway, <laughs> it's a king of the hall quote. Yes, I know. You burn my burgers, BH. Even when I'm doing a serious video, I can't be that serious for real long, can I? Um, but, yeah, so, 
I mean, there's, there's these videos where people are just fighting like a bunch of hogs trying to get a fucking nipple off of a sow. And it's, it's so uncivilized. We're supposed to be the most evolved species out of all the animals in the world. And even animals can be more civilized than us when you see these Black Friday videos of people hitting each other and fighting and yelling and screaming and ripping people's shirts off all fighting over the last pair of boots somewhere or a digital camera or something like that. Oh, it just brings out the worst in people. And so if, if you, it pisses you off as much as it does me, there's not a lot you can do. The best thing you can do is just not participate. So let me know. Have you guys done Black Friday? Have you ever done a Black Friday? Are you like me? Do you boycott them every single year and tell people not to do them? The, the, the most ridiculous, ludicrous part of this all is, is if you're that intent on getting a good deal, go tomorrow. Cyber Monday, y'all. It's the exact same, except online. Save your sanity. Save your health. Save your energy not to get up that fucking early on Thanksgiving and, and you know, say, Oh, I really want to sit here and eat with y'all and spend time and catch up, but there's deals going on. There's sales everywhere. Oh, I'm an American and I'm obsessed with commercialism and materialistic tendencies. Oh, yeah. That's another thing, too, is people all say, Oh, the savings, the savings. Well, there won't be savings if you get in a fight in the store and you end up going to the hospital or getting sued. Then you sure won't have savings because you'll be in a lawsuit or have to pay a giant stinging hospital bill from bopping somebody over the head or you getting bopped over the head over the same goddamn pair of expensive $200 jeans I'm wearing JCPenney's. Or what, what if you're in the parking lot and some a-hole that's not thinking backs out into you and fucking totals your car. Then you're definitely not going to be saving any money because you have to get your car fixed and you have to get in a long drug out insurance claim with them, which I know about those. Living near Dallas, I know all about those. And, by the way, I'm not making any of this shit up. Guess what day of the whole year has the high statistics for traffic accidents and parking lots? For car crash and parking lots. Black Friday. I'm not even making this shit up. It is real. I'll put the links. If I can find the actual study that says this, I'll put the link in there too. But yeah, you guys let me know what you take on this holiday. But this is definitely one of my least favorite holidays of the entire year, except for maybe Valentine's Day. That's another rant for another day, which I'll talk about some other time. I just want to do this quick one today and, and vent my anger on this subject because I don't see a lot of people doing it. I'm a few days tardy to the party, I know, so forgive me on that one. Well, you guys have an awesome night. I told you I was going to get in the habit of uploading more frequently again, so I'm holding to that. Y'all stay beautiful, rock on, keep being bamps, do what you do, you lovely people. Catch you on the flip side. Bye! Thanks a lot, Murica. Hope you're proud of yourselves. You ruined a perfectly good holiday about food, which is one of my favorite things. To anyone who shops on Black Friday...